University of Michigan has had plenty of success getting themselves in the College World Series, but once they're here in Oklahoma City, some struggles. 2-11 and 11 for head coach Carol Hutchins. So Michigan out to the field effectively with Nicole Motika, the freshman. When they hit, that's the lineup you'll see. Christy Collin and Megan Doe. The table setters we mentioned for Michigan when they'll be up in the first inning. They're facing Nebraska here in an elimination game with so much on the line. Pitch out on the move and thrown out is OG. Monica Schock delivers a pretty high toss, but the pitch out helps give her the extra second she needs. And OG is gunned down, trying to steal second. The pitch out works. The lefty behind the plate shock. The throw was high. Looked like the hand may have gotten in underneath the tag. She can excel after what she thought was a subpar effort in the first game. Ground ball toward Merchant Short, moving well to her right, tossing to Young in time. And on the play, Wangler's got to hang on at second base. because of the time management skills they acquire from playing sports. Toward short, nice play, Merchant in the hole, long throw, Young does the splits, a stretch at first, and they get Tremboli by half a step. Big defensive play by the Wolverines, and a nice start for the Maize and Blue, and the freshman, Nicole Motika, in the circle for Michigan. Brings up the freshman shortstop, Jessica Merchant, out of Wayland, Michigan. Coach told us yesterday she can hit the ball a long way, but strikes out an awful lot. Trying to bring those numbers down. 40 strikeouts compared to 14 walks for the youngster. But as we all know, that plate discipline will improve as time goes on. Big beneficiary is Jessica of uh, the effects of Title IX. Of course, the 30th anniversary coming up, a special weekend on ESPN, Women in Sports Weekend, June 21st through the 23rd. Grew up watching her three aunts who all played college athletics. Well, unfortunately, never had the opportunities uh, to play at this level and with this kind of backing. And now Jessica, the beneficiary of some of their efforts. And Title IX, and we see the how the administrative support at these schools can be such a help, Dave. Down goes Merchant. Of just one run being enough in this Women's College World Series. Perfect day here at the College World Series. Burgess, center field on the move. Nice catch, Megan Doe. Slide and grab in right center. And that'll do it for Nebraska in the fourth inning. There by the shortstop, Merchant. First appearance up the middle. Merchant, a dive for it. Knocks it down. Now she'll throw home. Played the play by Elise. Bobbled. Safe is the runner there. Throw the second, not in time. Lockmeyer is in as Lee Sir scores the game's first run. One nothing, Nebraska. A Texas chopper over the head of Matika. Diving get by Merchant to keep it in the infield, but can't get enough on it. And then Shock unable to bring it in and make the tag. They do get the throw down to second. And Merchant will lead things off. Jessica struck out, swinging in the second. A lone plate appearance against the brilliant Nebraska Hurley. I'll tell you what, I think Ellen has really spiked the crowd here because Nebraska's faithful got going. Now the Michigan fans are all up in arms. Anything you can do, I can do better. Maybe some candy as well from Michigan we can bring. <laughs> we gratefully accept all donations here in the booth. Well, she struck out Merchant with a rise ball in the second. Starts out with a screwball in for a strike. Leanne had six strikeouts against Iowa in one of the regional games leading up to the College World Series. That gave her the all-time lead. 844 for a career coming in. And the number up seven more now. She is the strikeout queen, second all-time in wins for Jenny Voss. A solid pitcher. Oh, Nebraska, the last time they were in town. No two to Merchant, fouls it off, stays alive. You saw Carol Hutchins moments ago, she was right in the faces of some of her players 
in that Michigan dugout. We're coming to you from the Hall of Fame Stadium in Oklahoma City. College World Series. Dave Ryan, Beth Mullins, Ellen Weinberg, who hopefully is bringing candy as we speak to the booth. Our entire crew brought you all the sights and sounds of the 2002 Women's College World Series. And a great event to this point, Elimination Saturday, where four teams go home, four survive when we're all done. Rounder foul off the bat of Jessica Merchant. Still a possibility, by the way, of having an all Pac-10 party. Four schools, half the field, Pac-10 representatives. Cal and Arizona are both 2-0 here at the World Series. And UCLA and Arizona State will have to come out of the loser's bracket to advance. Tomorrow, Cal plays the winner. Now UCLA and Arizona State. Arizona all the way through to play tomorrow. It's the winner of Florida State and the winner of this game. We'll have it all for you here on ESPN, over on ESPN2. Fisted, foul territory. Nice effort, good hustle, Rothmeyer gloves it down. One down to the fifth. 36, the batting average there. A little pop out, and Merchant puts it away for the easy play. Middle of the sixth in the College World Series in Oklahoma City. Michigan trying to get something going against Walker. It's not as much a... Trimbali on the move, throws, going to be in time as she's bumped off the bag by Jessica Merchant. Nice toss by Schock, who for the second time today has thrown out a would-be base dealer for Nebraska, but still it's a one-nothing game. Last chance for Michigan trying to keep their season alive. Nebraska wants to advance and play again here at the Women's College World Series in Oklahoma City. Curveball got upstairs. Molden unable to get much on it, but she will give some advice to her teammate Merchant on something to look for from Peaches. The two coaches, the best of friends, Rhonda Ravel on the left from Nebraska, Carol Hutchins on the right from Michigan. Talk to each other throughout the season, share advice. And uh, Hutchins told us yesterday, well, neither of us will be totally happy with the outcome, but one of us will at least be able to drown their sorrows in game preparation and Get a chance to play again later tonight. And not have to think about the fact that they've sent their best friend home. Fouled away by Jessica Merchant. She's 0 for 2 so far. Popped out to third and Rothmeyer and foul ground in the fifth. Struck out swinging in the second. That against the start of Leanne Walker. Michigan fans haven't given up yet. Still some hope. Tough though against Pizza James. She has been tough on the Michigan hitters. She said after her effort with Arizona, I wasn't intimidated. I know they won the national championship last year, but didn't bother me much. Except for the changeup that got away that Manuma hit out. A brilliant effort in that one-nothing loss. Coach Ravel said she was incredibly proud of the way Peaches hung in there. First ever game she pitched was against. Right. She had <laughs> she had five pitches, Dave, to, to be nervous. Her five warm-up pitches before she and faced Arizona. It. Can you believe that? In her first career start. First ever game. Hey, welcome to Nebraska. Here's the ball. Go throw against the top team in the country. Good luck. <laughs> and... Uh, Boy, since then, she has made terrific strides. She's learned quite a bit here, Sir, on the move. Can't glove it down. Lee Sir in short right field. Bobbles it out there on the move. If it's an error, it's going to be their fourth of the game. The entire right side, the infield and the outfielders, have the sunglasses on, so she's looking right back. She's off the heel of her glove. New life here for Michigan. Appears to have the bead on it and just hit the heel of her glove and bounced out. Fourth error for Nebraska. The previous three have not hurt them. 
Michelle Teschler is into the game to pinch run now for Michigan. She represents the tying run. Should Bentley put it in play? Pop and caught. Buckholz puts it away for the third out. And the end of the mid. A combined shutout, Leanne Walker and Peaches James and the Wolverines are done for the year. Nebraska advances on to play again tonight.